good morning welcome back to my channel uh today i have ballet from nine o'clock to or nine um ten o'clock to four o'clock i believe i have to leave at like 9 40 which is an hour and i have to get ready so i thought it might be fun to film it uh get ready with me for ballet full day of ballet and rehearsals so that's what we're doing today i hope you enjoy this video um uh, let's get into it okay so for starters um i need to cover up some stuff i have some some stuff going on first i kind of want to moisturize though so i'm gonna just take the clinique uh dramatically different moisturizing gel this is the gel one because i like oily skin and this feels really really good um i've been not loving primer that much lately because i haven't found a primer that doesn't make my skin red even the moisturizer kind of makes my skin a little red but every primer just makes my skin really red which means like I have to use more foundation to cover it. So I'm just gonna take a touch of the Makeup Forever step one, but just on my like nose and forehead where I get the most oil. This is the oil controlling one. Just gonna put like a bit on my nose, not go crazy because we wanna like lock in all the oil and stuff because I am gonna be dancing all day. And that just makes you greasy and sweaty and gross. So I want to do what I can without like going overboard, you know, because I don't like wearing like heavy makeup to ballet or anything like that. Um, you might think that if you're going to be dancing for a long time, you want like really long wearing, like super stayed in place makeup. But I more prefer like just a sheer coverage because then if it kind of like fades away, you can't really like can't really tell. So I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Cushion today. I've been loving this foundation. Honestly, it's one of my favorites of all time. I think it's really, really good. Uh, although the cushion, like, it kind of gathers product in, like, the corner. It's kind of hard to get out sometimes. I'll just take my beauty blender and push it in. And then just kind of dab it on. It has really nice coverage, as you can see. It covered up, like, all my redness kind of going on right there. But it is kind of like you kind of have to get in there to get it out, which, whatever, you know. Um... And you also don't get a ton of product, you only get 0.52 ounces, so half, and it's like the same price, or if not more expensive than a regular foundation from Wet n Wild, so there's that, but I really do like the formula a lot, I think it's really good, and it's long wearing, and it looks natural. I also don't put too much foundation on my forehead, just like a tiny little layer, because I have really bad forehead lines, and it creases, and there's nothing I can do to stop it, so I tend to just not put makeup on my forehead, um... Which, I mean, stuff has to match me really good, but life is what it is. Concealer. I just got the new um, Maybelline concealer in, like, the extended shade. So this is the new shade 5, which is the lightest. 15 used to be the lightest, and as you can see, they've made a great update. Because this is always, like, too dark for me, and it's the lightest one. But I really like the formula. It's not too full coverage, not too heavy. just kind of gives you um, some medium-ish coverage and some good brightening, so... Put that underneath my eyes. And then on my eyelids, pretty good because I have a lot of veins popping through. <laughs> I'm gonna like re blend out the creases on my forehead that I just kind of naturally get because I have to raise my eyebrows to blend out my eyelids. But there's that. Um, this guy right there. And these ones, like, I don't really think I can cover them anymore because like, they'll just pop through. So. I'll just powder them up good. Call it a day. Oh, oh, I got some mascara on my under eye, which is never really a good a good recipe for success because uh, that just makes your concealer look darker. But I'm just going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. I've been loving this powder a lot lately. I don't really know why. It's just kind of a, it's like a good average regular um, mattifying powder, but it's just really nice. I'm going to do my eyebrows. Uh, I have always done my eyebrows with Anastasia Dip Brow in Ebony forever. Or in granite. No, it's in Ebony. In Ebony forever, but when I got my hair dyed red, unfortunately. Um, I have been using the Taupe Powder Duo because, like, these are my natural eyebrows. And, um, like, they match my hair pretty, pretty good. Uh, so I just kind of fill in a little bit with this. Uh, the darker side, because I'm trying to go blonde if... Some of you may know if you watch my car vlog where I kind of explain my hair situation. I'm trying to dye my hair blonde. So I got the 
this duo because when my hair is blonde I'll be able to use the lighter side to kind of do like a really nice light blonde eyebrow um but yeah for now I'm just using the taupe one just kind of like like I don't really fill my eyebrows in I just kind of like put a little bit in the sparse areas also like a lot of it isn't taken off from the night before because wild night no I just fell asleep it was late just did my eyebrows uh pretty light pretty easy pretty natural that took like five seconds uh let's do my face so i'm going to contour touch with my kat von d shade and light contour palette with light shade nothing crazy just like a tiny little bit just because the foundation is a little more for coverage than usual so it kind of makes my face look flat so i'm just kind of doing like a tiniest little bit right in the hollows so you just kind of like fi fixes that um flatness issue a little bit there's that for blush i'm gonna take the nars Ooh. For blush, I'm going to take the NARS Wanted, where's a good place to show this? The NARS Wanted Blush Palette, or Unfiltered, NARS Unfiltered Cheek Palette, Unfiltered 2. Um, this is like last year's cheek palette, I know they have their new ones this year. Uh, I like NARS blushes, but I don't love the colors in this one. I love the colors in this one though. They're just really pretty. I, the only one I haven't really used is like the frosty light pink up there, it's just like not really my style. But the other blushes are spot on. I'm going to take... This is my favorite one. It's kind of this like slightly shimmery peachy nude down at the bottom. And I'm going to take that and just kind of put that on my cheeks. Not too much because my cheeks will get pink naturally. That's why I kind of went for a more sheer nude blush. But I'm just going to kind of dust that on a little bit. Call it a day. Eyeshadow. Do I really even want to do eyeshadow? Like, do I want to do eyeshadow? Do I want to do eyeshadow? That is the million dollar question. I'm just going to quickly take a light shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and just set my eyelid. doesn't really matter which one. I just don't want it to crease and I want all the colors to blend nice. Also, I need more coverage on those veins. Just a side note, this is the best eyeshadow palette on the market in the world, so throwing that out there. I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Manion Way Palette with a throwback, right? But um, these are just kind of generic shades i'm just going to use like the neutrals so i'm pretty sure oh is it frappe makeup geek shade anyway i don't know i don't know but um makeup geek has like all these colors pretty much so um, i'm gonna take a fluffy brush come sa and just kind of dip into that like super light peach shade um and just kind of fluff that in real simple real light just kind of like a wash of peach is my goal here did that even really show up? Hmm. Like, it's there, but it's a very light peach. Maybe I'll dip into, like, the next shade down. Like, the next darkest peach. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's just pretty. Just a little bit of color. I just kind of blended that kind of onto my lid, kind of into the crease, kind of onto the lower lash line. You know? Now I'm just going to take this little e.l.f. brush and dip into that, like, light shimmery shade up in the corner and kind of highlight my inner corner and like maybe a bit on my lid sure that looks nice peaches and cream vibe yes brow bone just a touch what else cupid's bow sure um that's finished mary luminizer from the balm i haven't used this one in forever but as you can see i really loved it and i still love it it's a beautiful highlighter just all the new stuff coming out like i feel like new stuff comes out way too much like it needs to be like a more special thing it seems like everything is always releasing and all that old stuff is really good like the chocolate bar palettes mary luminizer highlighter like they're all kind of just getting lost in the in the shuffle which i guess that's what happens but i feel like there's such iconic products that kind of are still amazing and still better than a lot of the stuff that's out there that don't really get talked about like this is so pretty and glowy and natural stunning okay for mascara i'm just gonna do my tartist lash paint mascara be back in a sec all right nice and mascaraed up oh uh, yeah i like this makeup a lot it's really simple really natural really nice uh, i'm gonna do some lip color of some kind let me just put on some chapstick first because they're feeling a little dry but 
that is the cost of life, I guess. Um, NARS, get out. Get off, get off. Fuck. Okay, so that was really bad. I broke the tip of my lipstick, but it's a good thing this only cost me $30. <sighs> Let me sharpen this. Um, this is just the prettiest color. And it's just like super natural, kind of just like looks like your lips. And I put a chapstick on so it kind of shears it out a little bit because my lips are still like pretty chapsticky and this is like a, a push kind of pencil, you know? Um, but it's really pretty. It doesn't add too much, adds just enough in my opinion. So yeah, NARS, get off. Love my lip pencil if you wanted a new favorite lipstick. Throwing it out there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do my hair and stuff. I figured that'd be kind of fun to do on camera because I do a French twist for ballet. Those are kind of hard to do, kind of fun to do. So, maybe you want a tutorial, maybe you don't. Uh, and then I'll like pop into a leotard and stuff in a bit. So, this will be a, a fun, a fun get ready with me, I think. I'm brushing my hair with a wet brush because I don't know where my hairbrush is. Maybe I can look for it, maybe I could try a little harder. Okay, so first up for French Twist, make sure you have pins. I just use regular closed bobby pins like this. Um, like, some people use bun pins, which are like a little bit more open. I use those too, those are fine, like they work just as good. I just prefer the closed ones, so I feel like they have a tighter hold. So I'm just looking for some more pins in my purse because I am out. Twist, I don't use any hairspray gel, there's no hair tie involved, it's all just your hair holding out itself up which is like kind of challenging. I think I'm gonna show this facing the back. So what you're gonna do, don't know if you can hear me, but I'll just show you, you can probably see. So you take the hair in a low ponytail at the nape of your neck and you kind of brush this hair up a little bit more than you usually would. And you're gonna start twisting. I twist you twist into your head, so start twisting into your head, whatever that way is. And you twist all the way up with all your hair, till here. And then you want to push and start molding it. Like, you want to mold it so it looks like a tornado, it looks like a twist. And you kind of want your hair to be equally distributed all the way up the twist. And keep this part pretty smooth. I have a bump, but I'm just not going to worry about it. And kind of fix that. Um, call that a day there, and then... If we go like back to the front, can you even see what I'm doing? It's all like twisted up here. So you're gonna keep twisting all the way to the top and then kind of pull it. And then you wanna fold it under like this. So you're folding it in on itself. And then when you turn to the side, you're gonna tuck all the excess hair into the twist like that. So right now it kind of looks a little janky, a little weird, because I'm just like holding it in. But then we just start pinning, and that's really that's really where the magic happens. So I always start pinning kind of in the middle, near the bottom, but not at the bottom quite yet. So you're gonna be able to let go as soon as you can, because you have to like hold it all here and not let any of it slip, which is kind of hard. So I'm just kind of pinning up the side of my twist. Okay, we're good. See how the top is really fluffy? Yeah, that will be fixed. That's just kind of what happens with the twist. So, ooh, maybe it's a little fluffier than usual today. Okay, what, whatever, whatever we're doing here. Okay. And then I'm going to take the very top bump right there and use several pins up top there by that top bump. If I can get these pins open, good God. Okay, and then this kind of fluffy part that's just like fluffing up there, uh, that's an accident, sorry. So usually your, my twists are a little tighter. So I'm just gonna pin that down there. And then, yeah, some more pins on the top even. Honestly, like you really can't go overboard with pins in a French twist because like oftentimes, unless it's like truly excessive, like the more pins, the more stable your hair is gonna be. So I have a very, very long day of ballet today. It's like 10 to 4 straight, pretty much. We have like a couple breaks here and there, but like, it's pretty much just grinding away, prepping for our show, which I will vlog because that's always so much fun. Ooh, although I wanna vlog this crazy day I have. I have my high school graduation and my show in the same evening. Like my high school graduation ends at 
6 30 and i and a uh, uh, curtain is at 7 30 in mount vernon so i'm gonna make it like i'm gonna vlog that because that will be intense uh i'm a little puffy up top i kind of don't mind it though i'm just gonna kind of pin down a puff i have over here and then you can kind of like mold to like kind of what you want it so from the side as you can see it's like a tornado a solid a solid tornado that kind of goes up and i have like a little bump here so i'm just gonna pin that down the goal is uh not too much volume at the bottom volume kind of at the top so that's how i do my twist and then uh because i hate the way my head is shaped i take out this piece and i take out this piece because it looks much better now okay so now i'm going to get dressed so leotard and tights saturday is like no dress code at all honestly like every day is no dress code at all because i don't like following the dress code but um saturday is no dress code so like the world is my oyster you know let me see should i do a leotard collection video yes i should this leotard is by wear moi it's lavender it's really pretty it's just like a regular tank top leotard the back is nice it has a little twist it's it's a classic. I uh, need some warm-ups on because it's cold and yeah. So I just put on this light pink sweater and some gray sweater tights from American Eagle. They're like the softest things I own. And ugh, I wish my door was shut. Mm. Oh. And yeah, that actually completes this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I uh, hope you subscribe and stick around to see more videos. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Au revoir!